back to the channel, everybody. Uh, we are going back to that pond that was dried up. We had, let's see, we had snow and we had two rainstorms and all the snow has melted because it's like 45 degrees out right now. Still cold, but obviously not freezing temp. So the snow has melted. I'm gonna go walk up to the pond and it doesn't, oh, it can't, no, not really. It didn't get that much more water, honestly. Darn it. So if you guys remember, take away all the leaves. The water, it comes up to here. And then if you guys also remember, that is a dock that is supposed to be in the water, but it's on land. So it's looking like it got some sort of water level back up, but not so much. Um, but it's nice to see that it did get some. We're gonna hop in the kayak, see if it's still super shallow. We're gonna see if we can catch some fish. I'm just excited to be back out on the pond. I'm feeling a lot better today and just excited to hang out with you guys. So I'm gonna get everything rigged up. I have no idea what I'm gonna throw, but I also got a new rod that I'm really excited about throwing. It's not the Guggen rod. Guggen rods are pretty sold out right now, which is really depressing, but you know, it's okay. It's all right. I will get my Guggen rod pretty soon. I did order one from them, so they should be sending me one soon, but for now, no Guggen rod for Becca. Kind of sucks, but that's fine. <laughs> got a new rod. Kayak is right here. If you guys want to go check out the kayak, it'll be linked down below. There's a code you guys can save a bunch of money off this kayak. I'll leave a link down below. Totally your call. I'm excited to get out on it. This is the nicest kayak I've ever seen. The last two videos are pretty much all about this kayak and me absolutely slaying some fish. So if you guys want to go check out the last two videos, do that. But for now, we're going bass fishing, freshwater. Let's do it, let's see what we can make happen today. All right, I'm gonna be starting off with the baby bull shad and then just working it from there. Whatever these fish wanna eat is what I'm gonna throw. I made a decision not to put the pill drive in and the kayak comes with that thing, whatever you wanna call that. I'm not sure exactly what you would call that. When you don't want to put the pedal drive in, you can just put that in, not really worry about too much water getting in the kayak. Okay, well, this is brutal. I've thrown the chatterbait, I've thrown a crankbait, and I've also thrown the baby bull shad. So, I think that means it's time to put on a weightless Texas rig. <laughs> oh... Winter is here. There we go, there we go, there we go. Oh my God, oh my God, no way. No way, yes, oh my God. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm recording. Oh my god, guys. I have been fishing for hours. Oh my god. Oh my god. There we go. This is one cold bass. Let me get my phone out. I've been here since 1030. It is 1222, so 1230 if you guys want to make it a little easier to do the math. We have been here forever. Oh my God. I love you. I love you. You're amazing. So I just needed to tell you guys this really quickly. Super quick, I promise. I was kayaking and I spooked a fish off the bank. And then I was like, okay, fine. I'm gonna start fishing shallow. By the way, big tip coming up. Just because it is winter does not mean you should not be throwing shallow. I mean, is it technically winter? In New England, at least it is. I mean, it's been snowing. Um, I don't know about you guys. You, uh, you, uh, southern, you southerners, south, southern, southers. <laughs> and then I pitched in and I just caught that fish super shallow. So my game plan right now is just to find shallow water, which sounds crazy for the winter time. But let me tell you, I do this almost every year and it ends up working. So we're going to go find some shallow flats. And we're gonna go catch some fish. <laughs> we're gonna make this happen. I have a really good feeling after we just caught that one fish. And um, yeah, I don't know. Stick around. Stick around. Let's go catch some fish. We just figured them out. Oh my god. That that hurt.
there we go. Oh my god, no way. No way. No way. <sighs> Come here. Nice. Nice. Oh my god. <laughs> you let's freaking go. <laughs> Another fish. Oh my goodness. I I mean that's all it took was to fish super shallow. That's all it took. That is amazing to see. I am freezing my butt off and we have a beautiful largemouth bass right here. I was told, I said in one of my other videos that when it's cold out, don't keep the bass out for too long because it can harm them. One of you guys commented and said that's actually not true. I'm not really sure, but I still want to get them back as fast as I can. See you later, buddy. We figured them out. Hopefully. I, I mean, I don't want to jinx it. Maybe we didn't, but I mean, if it took us so long to get our first bite and now we're just doing the same thing we have been doing since our first fish slash bite, then maybe we are doing something right. I don't really know. I don't know. There we go. No way. No way. No way. This is a joke. <laughs> wow i am not even kidding what was that two casts after my last fish they are stacked up in the shallowest freaking water right now oh sorry 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 like i'm recording cool like I i'm not exaggerating i mean the ground is literally right there do you guys see how shallow i am and we just got two fish two fish that is insane ready set oh oh peace out homie I feel so good right now. I'm freezing my butt off, but we making it happen out here. Highly, highly, highly doubt it, but I'm gonna make one more cast in this corner because I've had two fish. Maybe there's a third one in here. You just never know. Oh, I hit the tree. I hit the tree. Don't you just love it when your bait just slowly skims something and then bam, backlash. But actually, fun fact, hopefully I don't jinx it. I've had this reel for almost a year now and I've never had a backlash on this specific reel so bad that I couldn't get out, if that makes sense. So like every time I get a backlash on here, which isn't that often because it, you know, it's a DC, you're not really supposed to get backlashes on it unless it's user error, like what just happened. Like my backlashes aren't, just aren't bad. Don't you just love backlashes on 20 pound test? Which I actually shouldn't even be throwing 20 pound test right now, but I am. No way. No way. No way. No way. Oh, it's a good one. It's a good one. What the hell? What the hell? Oh my god. Oh my god. This is a joke. That's definitely the best. That is definitely the best one yet. <laughs> Friends, look at this. We're actually making it happen today. I was giving up hope just a little bit, but this this turned out a lot better than I expected. Let's get a release on this guy right here. Oh, he's look at he's biting on me. <laughs> See you later, buddy. Well, that was awesome. All right, we've caught, what, three fish in this corner? Like, I feel like I shouldn't even edit that whole entire sequence. No cuts, just three fish. Well, we could have made it four, but Becca just got stuck in a tree. So, almost four fish in this corner. <laughs> I had to break the branch and everything. I don't want to lose this hook. Terminal tackle is low. All right, they have seen my bait plenty of times over in that corner. So I'm going to throw a wacky rig now since they clearly like the Senko and I already have it rigged up. So let's see if we can take a cast back in that spot and catch another one. Unlikely, but you never know.
Well, that's not gonna work out, actually. Uh, sorry to inform you guys, I just broke off. <laughs> no, I just broke off, you can't do this. Oh, yes, yes. You wanna know something crazy? I I'm freezing, okay, so. Yeah, but that, but that's not what's crazy that I wanted to say, is I've never in my entire existence of fishing this pond ever caught a fish in this corner over here, ever. I've never had a bite, never seen a fish, nothing. It's so weird, but I fish it every time I come here because like, I mean, why not, right? The only reason why I'm saying this out loud is because I'm about to take like 5,000 casts into this corner and hopefully catch my first fish ever in this corner. Hopefully, we'll see, probably not, but. Well, I wonder if there was fish back here before I got snagged. Oh, I just scared um a frog. There's frogs back here. Like it looks so good. And you're telling me there's never a fish back here. I've never been all the way this deep. Anyways, that's my rant for this video, is that there's never fish back here. Oh my god, no way, someone's popper. There's a popper stuck to that tree. <laughs> I can't reach that though. There we go. No way. No way. Good fish. Good fish. Oh, he's barely hooked. Get in the boat. <laughs> I'm not even kidding. He came out of inches of water. Like, inches. Beautiful. See you later, bud. It's funny because, I mean, I was, I didn't say anything, but I threw the cinnamon lunker log and I spooked three fish off the bank, exactly where I cast with the cinnamon lunker log. It's something about this color in clear water. This is the baby bass color. Um, kills it, just absolutely kills it. Green pumpkin, you know, you got your watermelon red, and then you got this random color Guggen baits made, and it just absolutely kills it. Oh, no way. Oh, ripped it right out of his mouth. Should have let him eat it. I got really excited. <laughs> I casted, well, this is what I've been doing almost every time is I'm casting literally on the bank and slowly creeping it into the water because they're, I'm telling you, that's how shallow they are. It's not even a joke. It's so crazy. This lunker log is beat up right now. Good afternoon, time to eat today. Hi, can I do a small hot chocolate with no whipped cream? Small hot chocolate, no whipped cream. Absolutely, what else can I get for you? That'll be all. All right, it's gonna be 226 at the window, please. Thank you. Okay, hopefully you guys enjoyed today's episode. I had a blast out there, absolutely froze. If you couldn't tell, I did record it when I took my boots off. So I went to go get out of the water and I stepped right in super deep mud and my shoes just went down, 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 down and uh, they filled up with water. My feet are absolutely freezing, stopped at Dunkin', got myself a nice hot chocolate because I'm, I'm pretty cold right now, but hopefully you guys enjoyed today's episode. Those fish were stacked up in that one spot. It was absolutely crazy, but we ended up getting on some fish and I'm super grateful for that. And I'm super grateful for the fact that we caught some fish. That's all I could ask for. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. I love you guys so much. Thank you for all the support. Um, this might be the last video you guys see for the next couple ones of me fishing Rhode Island, but that's, that's all I'm going to say. So I'll, I'll catch you guys next time.